Hello, my name is Donna, Donna Ockenden. I have been a midwife for over 30 years and I recognise the tragedy of losing a baby at any stage of pregnancy is heartbreaking and often leaves families feeling isolated in their grief. My heart goes out to mothers and families who have suffered the loss of a baby. I will be joining forces with Mama Academy, Baby Lifeline, SANS and Child Bereavement UK this year for Baby Loss Awareness Week, which runs from the 9th to the 15th of October across the UK. This is an opportunity for us to all show compassion to mothers and families and remember the lives of babies lost in pregnancy as well as at or soon after birth. We will use this week to raise awareness about pregnancy and baby loss, to honour the memory of lives lost and continue to drive forward the improvements that are needed for parents and families now and in the future. In December last year, as the Chair of the Independent Review of Maternity Services at the Shrewsbury and Telford Hospital NHS Trust and supported by my Independent Maternity Review team, I published our first report. The report outlined the local actions for learning and immediate and essential actions for the Trust, as well as the maternity system across England. These are required to be implemented to improve safety in maternity services locally and across England. Following the publication of the first report, many positive changes in maternity care have taken place. This has included NHS England committing to invest £95 million for increasing maternity workforce, training and development programmes, as well as strengthening surveillance to identify issues of concern earlier. The Health and Social Care Committee on Maternity Safety in England identified that NHS maternity units need an immediate investment of £350 million to prevent women and babies suffering from avoidable harm. Furthermore, the government announced in July that £2.45 million will be spent, which will be used by the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists, RCOG and others, to find the best ways of spotting early warning signs of babies in distress. More still needs to be done to continue to improve maternity care and safety. The work of the independent review continues and the second report will build upon the local actions for learning and immediate and essential actions from the first report. This will determine the changes that are still needed within the maternity system to improve maternity care both at the Trust and across the country. Our review and the charities we work alongside are committed to ensuring the best possible outcomes for mothers and their babies and that they receive the right care during their maternity journey and postnatal period. We recognise, alongside the excellent maternity safety work being undertaken, the terrible tragedy experienced by some mothers and their families. Let us take the time during Baby Loss Awareness Week in a wave of light to remember every baby lost. I ask that you join me in honouring the lost lives of these little ones by lighting a candle or sharing an image of a candle at 7pm on Friday the 15th of October. You can find out more about Baby Loss Awareness Week by visiting babyloss-awareness.org. Thank you for listening.